What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. For bonus two, we're doing all the unlockables for Resident Evil Remake. For beating the game in five hours or less, you get the Samurai Edge handgun, an infinite pistol, which does twice as much damage as the regular handgun. For beating the game in three hours or less, you unlock an infinite rocket launcher. Dude. Now, to use both of these items, you have to select once again at the beginning of the game. And the thing about this uh, rocket launcher is as soon as you start up the new game, you actually start out with the rocket launcher and the pistol. You get double the firepower. In Chris's story, you only get the rocket launcher. It actually replaces the knife with the launcher. So let's uh, see how powerful this rocket launcher is. I stated that you could kill Neptune in a different way, but uh, let me just give you a little demo here on how powerful the rocket launcher is. Dead. One shot will pretty much kill every boss without fail. This rocket launcher is a monster, as it should be. So this is actually a great reward for beating the game fast. Now, I showed you multiple times after you beat the game, you get the closet key. The closet key is how you get your alternate costumes. Question is, where is it? The actual hidden door is back here. Use the closet key and there you go. Now you get into a secret closet with the alternate costumes. I'm going to show off Jill's first because, in my opinion, hers are cooler. So in here, depending on how many times you've beaten the game, will be how many costumes you can access at a time. There's only two for a very sad reason, but hey, two is okay. So over here, we're going to put on some army fatigues. And this one is a pretty nice costume, not going to lie. I know you can't see it right now because this is a really bad camera angle, so let me go ahead and go to another room where I can get a good camera angle because I know a lot of you are going to want to see this one up close. So allow me to show you what this costume looks like close up. That's pretty awesome. And seeing Jill in army fatigues and with a rocket launcher is pretty much the hottest thing ever. I'm kind of drilling right now, excuse me. Uh, yep, full army fatigues, and it actually looks pretty good on her. I'm not gonna lie. You can play through the entire game with these alternate costumes, but you have to wait until you get to the first save box, because that's where the closet key is. Then you have to go back and put on your costume. So you're going to have to go a while without being able to see these new costumes, but um, getting the closet key is definitely worth it. It's a bit out of your way, but like I said, you can wear it anywhere in the game, and it'll actually show up in cutscenes, which I will show you here in a bit. Now, Jill's second costume is actually the one you unlock after beating the game twice with Jill. And this one might look uh, a bit familiar for Resident Evil fanatics. Some casual clothing for her. This is Jill's costume from Resident Evil 3. Yeah, they brought it over for the remake. And the fans went crazy. And by the way, this is also the hottest thing. Uh, kind of a funny bit of trivia, because this is a skirted costume, there was a lot of, you know, conversation and debates in the dev team to see what color they should make Jill's underwear. Yeah, the, the most important things when putting together, you know, a survival horror game is, what color is your heroine's underwear? So, um, after many debating and choosing different colors, they eventually went with black. And the reason they had to make this such a big deal is because now the different camera angles will be showing off her underside. So, uh, how do I know that they're black? Maybe this is how. All the alternate costumes show up in cutscenes. You can do the entire game with these different cutscenes. I'm just going to give you a taste of each of these really? costumes, and Thanks. let's call this a tease, because I'm not going to show you every cutscene with the new costumes. And here you go, seeing the army fatigues. Other than I'm still alive in this and also, for getting these new costumes, Jill, the ending is also out. changed. I'm just going to tease you with this one, and the army fatigues one, 
definitely worth it. So go ahead and find them and try them. Now, Mr. Redfield, you also have two alternate costumes that we can unlock. Let's head into the closet room with the closet key. And I've mentioned it before, and I'll mention it again. You have to beat the game twice with each character to unlock these different costumes. You can't just play it once and unlock one costume for each of them. you got to play it twice for both of them. So if you're trying to go for every single, you know, playthrough, it's really helpful. And I'm not sure if it carries over, like if you beat real survival mode with somebody, I think it works. Don't quote me on that. So here we've got a nicer looking uniform. Let me go ahead and go to the same camera angle place I've been going to the entire time and show it off in a bit more detail. Mr. Redfield, you look very good in that costume from the spin-off game Resident Evil Code Veronica X. This is what he was wearing throughout the entire campaign of that game. And uh, I think he looks a bit more studly. He's got a nice combat vest on. He's got everything ready to go. He's ready for a fight. And don't worry, we'll meet Chris again when we actually go through Code Veronica X. Looks better with a gun, I'm gonna say. Alright, round two. Let's see Chris's other costume, and this one is my personal favorite out of all the costumes you can select. I mean, Jill's is pretty hot, both of them are pretty good, but uh, this one, this one's hilarious. And you'll see what I mean as soon as I come out this door here. Okay, so you can't see it really good. Let me go ahead and go around to that alternate <laughs> camera angle, because you're going to want to see this in full. It's hilarious. Streetwise, Chris Redfield. Sunglasses, a beanie, he's got everything. Oh, and he just looks so cool with the rocket launcher. This is the best costume. Oh, it is... This is hilarious. I love this alternate costume. Sadly, this is the second one to be unlocked uh, for Chris, so you're going to have to work for it. But hey, this is pretty cool. And just like Jill's scenario before him, it does show up in cutscenes. Now, uh, for the curious, does this affect any of your side characters? Only for Chris's story, Rebecca gets her cowgirl costume from Resident Evil Zero. So, uh, kinda cool. I mean, it only works for Rebecca because you get to play as her. I actually did some research and found out why Barry doesn't get an alternate costume. It's because you never get to physically control him. For beating the game with Jill and Chris, you get to visit the one dangerous zombie. There's a special zombie looking around the mansion, and he is downright deadly. You definitely want to be careful. The one dangerous zombie mode will show up after you beat the game once. And when you select once again, Forrest. Yes, Forrest, one of your original teammates, will be running around with a grenade vest. It is the scariest thing, because he can show up anywhere in the mansion. Now, sad to say he goes away after the hunters show up, but my god, this is one dangerous zombie. You can't use defense items on him. You can't shoot him. You can't do anything to this zombie because he's so deadly. He's also twice as fast. So he's running after you throughout the whole mansion, and you can't do anything about it. You just have to avoid him because what happens if you shoot? You immediately die no matter where you are in the room. That's one dangerous zombie. And also for completing the game in a certain amount of time, I'm not sure, you get real survival mode, which I will go over in another video. And for the hardcores out there, invisible enemy mode. You can't see your enemies. And those will be the next bonus episodes, real survival and invisible enemy.